Light bulbs are devices that convert electrical energy into light. They transform electricity into heat so intense that it glows. They consist of a tungsten filament heated to over 1,300 degrees Celsius. But how are more than 50,000 light bulbs made in an hour? In this video, we'll discover how a light bulb is made. Light bulbs began to be commercialized in 1920 because they were inexpensive to produce in various sizes and voltages. The major innovation came in 1879 when Edison invented a carbon filament that burned for 40 hours. A year later, he created a bulb that burned for over 1,200 hours, making electric lighting feasible at last. The filament is very special. It's made of tungsten, capable of withstanding extremely high temperatures. Tungsten has the highest boiling point of any metal, reaching 2,500 degrees Celsius, three times hotter than lava. The bulb is filled with a special gas that slows the evaporation of the filament and poorly conducts heat. This gas helps it stay cooler than it otherwise would. If oxygen were present, the filament would disintegrate or even catch fire. The bulb's base has two metal contacts connected to a metal filament. The electrons in the electric current collide with the filament's atoms, causing them to vibrate. This energy heats the atoms to 2,200 degrees Celsius, a temperature at which they emit visible light. The light bulb factory has two production lines. One prepares the glass bulb, and the other assembles the internal electrical components. Production begins not with the metal filament but with the bulb itself. The glass is made from a mixture of limestone, potassium, a kind of natural bicarbonate, and sand. The factory consumes tons of this raw material every year. Lime stabilizes the glass during melting, and potassium lowers the temperature required for melting. All the ingredients are mixed and fed into a massive furnace the size of an office building. But there's one more surprising ingredient, recycled light bulbs, which speed up the process and reduce the energy needed to melt the materials. They must reach a temperature of 1,600 degrees Celsius, hotter than molten lava. Once cooled in molds, the glass is cut into tubes of the proper length. These cut tubes are passed through a polishing wheel, exposed to a gas flame for 7 seconds, which heats the glass enough to smooth its surface. The polished tubes then enter another machine, which heats them until the glass becomes malleable. One end is stretched to form a flared shape. The next machine inserts two copper wires into the flared end and then adds a thin glass cylinder called the exhaust tube. As the tubes pass through increasingly hotter flames, they soften, and a press seals the wires inside the glass. Simultaneously, the machine drills a small hole in the glass between the wires, which will later be used to remove air. The copper wires are separated, and hooks are formed at their ends. These hooks hold the filament, a fine coil of tungsten wire. Tungsten is the only metal capable of producing light continuously, any other metal would extinguish within minutes or hours. Tungsten glows with white light when heated to over 1,300 degrees. However, it cannot function near oxygen, which is why the bulb creates a vacuum to isolate the filament. A machine coats the wires with a liquid form of another metal, zirconium, increasing their resistance to moisture inside the bulb. Next, a machine engraves the voltage, wattage, and company logo on the top of each bulb. Some bulbs are sprayed with an interior coating of synthetic silica. The coating machine charges the bulbs with high voltage and heat, causing a fine layer of powder to adhere to the glass. Flames then evaporate moisture and remove impurities. This machine can produce over 50,000 light bulbs in an hour. When the two production lines meet, a bulb is placed on each base. Torches weld the flared end to the bulb's neck, and mechanical arms shape the neck to fit the aluminum base. The next machine removes all air and replaces it with pressurized argon gas. This gas resists heat buildup and helps the filament last longer. Most often, the gas is a mixture of argon and nitrogen. Over time, the filament will gradually evaporate. 
Incandescent bulbs have an average lifespan of 200 to 750 hours as the tungsten evaporates. The gas inside the bulb moves, condenses, and gives the bulb a dark, grayish color. After bending the conductive wires and securing them, torches melt and seal the exhaust tube, trapping the argon inside. The bulb is now ready to work when connected to an electric current, but it still needs a base to screw into a socket. The base is made of aluminum. A machine inserts one of the bulb's wires through the middle and welds it in place, then spot welds the other wire to the side. The input wires touch the aluminum base to ensure proper electrical contact. Light bulbs undergo repeated testing with increasing voltage to reinforce the filament and reduce the risk of breakage during transportation. An automated packaging system carefully handles the fragile bulbs, placing them in packages and shipping them to consumers. While heating a filament until it glows is a satisfying way to produce light, it's extremely inefficient. Only 5 to 10% of the electrical current is transformed into light, the rest is lost as heat. Like this video? Give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate notifications to keep learning.